Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about how to get the output as the HTML format. Let's try to find out or discover the command how uh, get hyphen help for the anything called HTML maybe. So we'll see here if anything is found. We got the output as here. Uh, we have not the import or export because this is HTML. So the data is getting converted. So that's why we only have the convert. We don't have anything called, you know, export too. So it's just the convert. So if you can, you know, remember as a comparison between the XML and the CSV, uh, you can think that this is just the convert to HTML format. And if you also look at for the JSON and other CSV uh, formats, which we already played with this, but you know, JSON and other things also available here as a related command line. So, which are very similar. If you know, you know, one of the command line, it might uh, easy for you to, you know, uh, work on other command lines. Let's get, uh, let's get uh, to uh, work on one of the uh, command lines, like, you know, get hyphen processes. And this should actually give me the all the processes which are running on that uh, specific machine. And I can convert this to uh, HTML format, uh, this entire output. So to do that, I have to just use a pipe and use the command line called convert. So convert to HTML. So if I just hit enter, you see, you know, what would happen is here, the output will come up on my screen in the HTML format, which I don't like it because I don't want to see here. That means uh, what would happen is if if you are getting some kind of an output like this, not only on the HTML output, you know what we are uh, trying to do, maybe it could be an XML or it could be some other command line. Uh, that means you have an option where you can go for, you can actually convert into output format. So. Uh, I mean to see here this has been already converted to HTML but that's not the end that's not the end of the command let or that's not the end of the syntax you have to write some more uh, uh, some more syntax for example here what we are missing is we are missing to out file to a maybe a HTML format for example this is a uh, uh, proc.html so this is the output which is going to create it here for us now you see here we got the output. Let's uh, get the output and check out what is happening or what was it was written. So it's a proc dot html. So if I just type it, uh, it would actually open in my one of my favorite browser uh, or the default browser. Uh, so in this case, it's the edge, and I can see here this output is available. Uh, as uh, completely in the HTML format. So if you are thinking, you know, what is the major difference between these HTML as output in the real world with the uh, XML or maybe CSV outputs. So the major difference would be you can write out within this output, okay, within this uh, process of converting, you can write your header information, like a title you can give, you can, you know, color it, you can uh, make a proper web page. So once you know those commands, uh, which are, which you can do it in HTML, that all the things can be uh, directly uh, can be written in your script or in your uh, command line here. And then immediately that kind of you know, output file will be gets generated. Let me show you, you know what I'm trying to see here. I'm just closing that file and I'm taking the previous one converting and inside this convert uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some kind of a title as the proc uh, specific one so once as soon as you have done the HTML conversion uh, of this command here I can give here as the uh, title so title has been taken uh, and I'm gonna put it in a command uh, in the codes as this is for um, a proc uh, list and this is the uh, HTML command which I am putting as a title and also I wanted to put as a uh, specific date uh, when it has generated so like a uh, get hyphen date so then um, it would actually takes this uh, content information and uh, this has to be uh, this has to be generated uh, with the date and the title so let's enter so there's something wrong uh, within this blocks. I need to uh, a proc list has to be given. 
Since we got the error, uh, if you're quite new to uh, even the HTML HTML programming, uh, you may have to look into the tutorials of the HTML. For example, I just opened the W3 School uh, tutorial in this uh, web page, uh, where I can check out here. For example, what we are, what we are trying to do is we are trying to create a web page uh, here with the, just to try an example a website. If you take it any of the website, this is a very basic and uh, most of them might be already know. You know why we got this error. Uh, we have already given the title uh, that's fine you can see here title is there but if I want you know put something in the uh, in the here in this case here the get date uh, I need to put it into the body so which is missing actually so I need to uh, actually type here as the body that's it that's what is missing so I'm going to uh, going back here and uh, simply uh, here hyphen body that's it so it's going to take this uh, complete uh, information and now I should be able to uh, generate uh, the specific uh, HTML file uh, with the help of a uh, combination like you know you you can check out here you know you have the title you have the body you have the header if you are uh, looking for some kind of a you know, header information you might have to uh, put like you know header uh, and then uh, write what you wanted to put it here uh, the like h1 uh, you can put it as a h1 and give that information so that it would be in a paragraph 1 paragraph 2 all that can be you know uh, configured by taking the actual structure out of uh, your html file so let's actually uh, run the command uh, to uh, view the, uh, in a web page what exactly uh, how it actually looks like now we have the timestamp if you can see here and it looks good right uh, and the, the way what we wanted it is coming out now maybe you're wondering that uh, here the title is a proclus which is nothing but here the title is uh, displaying and if you are uh, trying to automate any of the things uh, maybe you know you might have to consider uh, writing further level and we would uh, definitely look into this uh, in the upcoming lectures uh, for example if uh, it is getting as output as the HTML uh, in the uh, some kind of you know error then uh, I would uh, prefer to uh, configure it as the uh, a right color within the HTML format so these kind of things can be configured within your HTML as the output so it's most uh, easiest way and most useful uh, converting uh, your outputs to HTML format I hope this is useful for you thank you for watching this